all right all right israel welcome back i am happy to be back no doubt we just did the uh the video on um on uh discontinuing from our heritage so again we do these con we have these convenings that your faith may be built up and the way your faith is built up is by hearing the words of the testimony of yahweh all right so we go over these things over and over again because we're a special group i say it all the time because our brothers and sisters out there most all israel they don't have it but the father said for you it is given to know it is given to know the the secret the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to them it is not given so it's only according to scripture that is land like it's land don't feel no types of way even though we all do because we want the best for all our brothers and sisters but that is not the testimony of my shock he he said he came not to send peace but a sword to bring variance so there is going to be variance there is variance now the name of this convening is the testimony of mercy is in the salvation of the gentiles that's us the testimony of mercy is in the salvation of the gentiles okay so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into it i threw the spirit put this together real quick and we ain't gonna stay long um get this word this message out to all of us and uh hopefully we are increased the more because of it hallelujah all right so now let's go to romans in the 15th chapters where we need to be all right so romans in the 15th and we're going to start at eight. Now I say that Yahweh Shai Hamashayak was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of Yahweh to confirm the promises made unto the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify Yahweh for his mercy as it is written for this cause i will confess to thee among the gentiles and sing unto thy name and again he saith rejoice ye gentiles with his people and again praise the lord all ye gentiles and laud him all ye people and again, Isaiah saith, there shall be a root of Jesse and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles in him shall the Gentiles trust. Now that Yahweh, now the Elohim of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, not in the law in believing now the Elohim of hope fill you with jo all joy and peace in believing and ye may abound in hope through the power of the holy spirit and we know the holy spirit is of yahweh that is his spirit so our brother zuria be ed be edified we will go over that. The Holy Spirit is Yahweh's spirit. So say not uh, when we bring out how it seemed good to the Holy Spirit that we lay no greater burdens upon you than these necessary things. Sabbath days and high holy days was not one of those necessary things. Say not, Zuriah, or whoever in the hell else, that Yahweh said keep his commandments. Boy, that is the spirit of the spirit is yahweh it is his spirit we're gonna go over that too to the good for edifying okay now as gentiles we've been talking about that these last months i've been bringing it to you as it had was given to me through the spirit that we are the gentiles to this very day the whole house is in captivity and spread out into all kingdoms on the face of the earth we don't have a land 
We don't have our identity. We don't have the law. We're just getting these things back. And that's why Hamashak was given. What did, what, what, did, what did we just read? What did we just read? He shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, and in him shall the Gentiles trust. Okay? That's why he was given by the Heavenly Father. Okay? So now, everybody be understanding that right this minute. Now, um, now let's get the understanding of what it means to be a Gentile. And again, the name of it is the testimony of mercy is in the salvation of the Gentiles. Now, what did we just read about the mercy? It says in the ninth verse of the 15th chapter of Romans, and that, and that the Gentiles, us, might glorify Yahweh for his mercy. See, but the Jews, who we don't even know who that is, we got a hunch that's us, uh, the southern kingdom, uh, who went into slavery into all corners of the earth, four corners of the earth, uh, on slave ships. Isaiah 11 chapter tells us that. We also know that Manasseh and Simeon and Ephraim, they were mixed in with us at different times. So we still do not know for certain which tribe we are. It will be divulged unto us when we get into the kingdom, whoever and that is of us who makes it. 12 names, 12 gates, 12 tribes. Okay, your allotment will be already designated it already is designated all right now uh it said here now i say that yahushua mashach was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of yahweh that being the jews to confirm the promises made unto the fathers now when we go back we're going to get in here right quick and we're going to get the definition of what it means to be a Gentile so that you don't think I'm making up my own shit just in case you already didn't know yourselves. You understand that? Let's go back to the third chapter of Romans and we want to see the significance of what it means to be a Jew. It says, oh, what advantage then hath the Jew or oh, what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly, because that unto them, the Jews, were committed the oracles of Yahweh. That's what it means. Committed was unto the Jews. It was committed the oracles of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so now as Gentiles, all of us are. How the hell are we going to be anything more? And we don't even know who in the hell we are. So now as these Gentiles, still though, we have a hunch, according to the scripture, Isaiah 11, scattered to all the corners, four corners of the earth, okay, that the southern kingdom, Judah, the Jews, it went on slave ships. All of us didn't go on slave ships. The rest of our brothers and sisters are over there in the old land, Africa and all of those different places. And that whole region over there. So with that being said, we know that uh, the greater likelihood is that we are the tribe of Judah, whether it's Benjamin or whether it's half of, um, half of Levi or whether we got some strangers of Ephraim, Manasseh and Simeon among us. Now, they weren't southern kingdom, but they were cleaved unto unto Judah because they wanted to get away from the bullshit that the other brothers and sisters were doing of the northern kingdom. They said they weren't with it. They want to go go with the go with the southern kingdom. Okay, and try to keep the commandments, they, even though they failed too. That's why we in this shit we in right now. Now, we're going to go over in Ephesians, and we're going to get the definition of what it means to be a Gentile. Okay? Now, you got to remember, no matter what we learned in Leviticus 5th chapter, we are guilty, even whether we knew that we broke the law or not. We are guilty. So, we needed salvation. And Hamasha came to die for the unrighteous, not the righteous. Okay. So Ephesians, we're going to go to Ephesians. Uh, and um, right here, we're going to start right here at 18. It says, for through him, Hamasha, we both have access. Both who? 
both the northern kingdom tribes and the north and the southern kingdom tribes jews and gentiles we both through him have access by one spirit the spirit of the heavenly father unto the father now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of Yahweh. So this whole testimony of Yahweh since way back in the beginning has been uh, extended unto the Gentiles, the strangers and the foreigners. And now we are fellow citizens. So it don't matter what tribe you are in the sense of we all got access to the father by one spirit. You understand that? Now, the significance that we just read in third, third chapter of Romans is that to us was committed or to the Jews was committed the oracles, the word of the heavenly father. So it's right on point that we here, the children of the slave trade, more exclusively or specifically uh, us over here in America, how it is that we pretty much are in charge of distributing the truth, the oracles unto the rest of the, the, the tribes. Uh, brothers and sisters on the face of the earth everything's coming out of here we're in that sinful kingdom the number one kingdom on the face of the earth up under this particular white man right here oppressor right here who happen to have uh the oracles of the heavenly father in his possession we ain't we ain't never went nor had held no uh in captivity had no print shops printing bibles so on and so forth even through christianity the heavenly father made sure sure that we would get some get his word have all faith in the heavenly you know what the hell he's doing now um again we are the children of the slave trade the jews the disbursement unto the end of the heaven unto the ends of the earth is what it is who have discontinued from our heritage as jeremiah uh testifies in the 17th chapter we've discontinued from our heritage our inheritance or heritage same same thing that is the law deuteronomy in the 33rd chapter tells us that our inheritance is the law so we have discontinued from the law and because we broke the law we went into slavery, but we broke the law because we didn't have no faith. 32nd chapter of Deuteronomy. Children in whom there is no faith. Abraham started this whole line off, this righteous seed, by being faithful unto the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's why we are justified by our faith, not the deeds of the law that's what it says get down with it or else unbelievers that's what you are if you don't get down with the testimony you are an unbeliever and you shall receive the wrath of the heavenly father ain't no two thing two ways about it okay but we just heard that uh one more time let's read that one more time uh 13 13 and 9 and and 9 uh i'm at 15 and 9 it says that and the gentiles us might glorify yahweh for his mercy it's all mercy because we're all guilty no man sinneth not you break one law you break them all and it said because it said do them all cursed is he that continueth not in all things written in the book of the law to do them so that's why we cursed we didn't continue our fathers didn't continue and it fell on us but now we have received the mercy of the heavenly father the sal the testimony of mercy is in the salvation of the gentiles because otherwise how would we how are we not consumed it is because of the mercy of the heavenly father so let there be no high-minded niggas around here talking about i i i do this and i do this where in the hell do you see i in grace i'm listening 
Uh huh. So all of us need to be admonished if we think anything other than our not being consumed is be is anything other than because of the mercy of the heavenly father. All right. So now we understand these things and let us not slide back at, at any time. All right. Now, um, um, well, anything else I want to go over because as being these children of the slave trade that are cursed for trusting in men that are cursed because we continued not our fathers continued not in all things, uh, which are written in the book of the law for to do them. Um, we are especially grateful to the heavenly father for his mercy that we be not consumed. Because now we know that in the new covenant, Jeremiah 31, um, that showed that we are going to die for our own iniquity. No longer will it be as was it back, back in the day where when our father sinned, then the, their children and the generations after them also would receive smoke for their doing. But Jeremiah 31 said in the new covenant that every man should die for his own sins. See, that's 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 where the, the heavenly father's mercy comes in. Because we over here in this stinking ass lands right now under the boot of the oppressor because of what our fathers did. I just woke up. I just was born in 1970. Why? In the, what the hell did I do? Yet I'm in slavery. You see that? I'm paying for what the, the fathers did. And if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be Israel. You see that? And if I wouldn't be Israel, I'd be a heathen. And if I was a heathen, then there would be nothing coming but smoke. There is no salvation for heathen. You see that? So that's real quick. Another convening. I hope everybody is increased the more for it. Thank the Heavenly Father we do. Hallelujah, Abba, uh, for allowing us to convene again to your word, discuss it among ourselves, bring it out. Hopefully that everyone here is increased the more because of it. Shalom, family. Grace be unto you and peace from our Elohim until we get to do it again. Shalom.